How do you do people? Ladies and gentlemen, when, men and women, and boys and girls, and everybody. I am Professor Julia Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And our special business today has special interest because I have put together some wheels which are not round. A wheel which rolls crazy. That is a pair, a pair. And the question arises, since they wobble as they roll, and frightfully so, you see the strange things that emerge from this place, which is a strange place. I say, if I put that board on there, and I roll the board on the wheels, is not it to be expected that the board wobbles? No, no. That's the beauty of what comes out of this place. Watch it. If we look at it on the horizontal, the board doesn't wobble. The board doesn't wobble. And I think that is wonderful to contemplate. Oh, you see, the wheels are indeed so crazy that they came apart. And I leave it to you as an exercise in thinking, why did not, why did not the board wobble? Now I want to go back to this business of inertia and show it to you more dramatically. For this purpose, consider the following. First, I want you all who see me and hear me to do as follows. Grab some air. Grab some. Just grab some. There's nothing there. Oh, oh, there's plenty there. There is plenty there. In each cubic centimeter, or better still, in each cubic centimeter, that's one centimeter on an edge, there are three times 10 to the 19 molecules of gas. Who? 10 to the 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 molecules of gas. Three times that many. How big is that number? Oh, that number is incredible. Let me pose an exercise for you to think about. Supposing you went to the sea and picked up 10 to the 19 grains of sand and then put them all neatly in a pile. How big a pile would you have? Well, I'm going to show you how big a pile you would have. You would have a pile of grains of sand one mile by one mile by one mile. That's how many grains of sand or molecules of gas there are in a cubic centimeter of air. You know how big a cubic centimeter is? It's about as big as the end of my little finger cut off behind the nail. That's how big. Now, supposing all these grains of sand, you are now required to count. And supposing I allowed you the privilege of counting them at 10 per second. One of the reverse 10, one of the reverse 10, one of the reverse. How long would it take you to count 10 to the 19 grains of sand, counting at 10 per second? Well, there are about 100,000 seconds in a day, and therefore there are 350-odd, 100,000 seconds in a year. And if you do the arithmetic, it takes you something like 100,000 million years. 100,000 million years. Incredible. And remember, three times that many, because I just said 10 to the 19. Proof that the air is massive. Paper. Paper. 20 inches by 30, 30 by 20, 600 square inches. 15 pounds per square inch roughly is atmospheric pressure. 9,000 pounds of air here aboard. I put it under. I now wish to move that very fast. Accelerate it quickly, as I did the flask of water with the paper in an earlier segment, in an earlier program. Watch it. Should not everything tip over? No. Enormous inertia, and it wants to stay at rest. Watch it. And I'm going to do it again, because I like it. And it is very dramatic. And we shall come another day. Thank you for watching.